everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. I'm your host, Deeper Jungle, and today I'm going to be doing a video, and that's going to be a weapon guide here on one of the most underrated weapons in Modern Warfare Remastered that's actually really good. So, yeah, let's get right into the video. Also, I just want to say, as you can see, it is not the M16. I'm just throwing some M16 gameplay in the background just as something kind of different, so that way it won't just give away the gun that I'm going to be doing a weapon guide on. And if you are enjoying this video, don't forget to leave a like. Let's see if we can get five likes on today's video. That that would be absolutely amazing and yeah let's get right into it. So if you're actually wondering the weapon that I'm going to be doing a weapon guide on and that is going to be the M4A1 carbine. I actually made a video on a similar topic and that is when Modern Warfare Remastered and Infinite Warfare first came out. I actually made a video which was my top 5 or top 10 most underrated weapons in Modern Warfare Remastered. However I wanted to go and talk a little bit more about the M4 and that was actually on that list and I just wanted to do kind of a weapon guide on it because it's actually a really good weapon and a lot of people end up not using it and they use like the M16 or the AK-47 or something like that and I would really recommend that you go and check it out but yeah with all that out of the way now I'm going to be moving on to the stats of the M4A1 and if you actually want to know where I'm getting these stats from it is from the Call of Duty wiki and if you would like to check it out it will be linked down in the description and the stats for the M4A1 carbine is the damage profile is 30 damage up close dropping off to 20 damage at a distance damage multiplier 1.4 to the head in multiplayer weapon class is of course an assault rifle magazine size is 30 rounds unlocked at level 10 as well as the starting ammunition is 30 plus 60 maximum ammunition is 30 plus 180 reload time is 2.03 seconds loaded and 2.36 seconds unloaded rate of fire is 857 rpm recoil is low wall penetration is medium fire mode is of course automatic and if you are actually going to play the single player it is used by the factions the united states marine corps as well as the sas and again if you would actually like to check out these stats it will be linked down in the description all right guys so now we are going to be moving over to the creative class and I actually have two creative classes depending on your playstyle. In the first creative class of course we have the M4A1 with a red dot sight. The iron sights on the M4 are actually pretty good however a red dot sight can really improve those iron sights. I would not recommend running an ACOG because just ACOG is not really good on any weapon that isn't a sniper rifle so that is actually my attachment. And for a secondary I would recommend any of them however if you do have the Desert Eagle I would recommend that you run that one because in my own opinion and a lot of other people's opinions the desert eagle is the best pistol in the entire game so when it comes to the grenades of course we're going to be running a standard frag grenade and when it comes to the special grenades i would recommend that you run a concussion because the concussion grenades you can throw them a lot faster and they're better than the stun grenades because the stun grenades they take about a second to actually throw them however with the concussions they can just be thrown a lot faster so in my own opinion i find that they're more useful and when it comes to the perks the first perk i'm going to be using bandolier however if you don't have bandolier you can always use stun times three that's a pretty good one however bandoliers is pretty good because it's basically scavenger and when it comes to perk two we're going to be using stopping power because stopping power i'm gonna say is probably the best perk two in the entire game that and juggernaut however if you have a very low damage like assault rifle or submachine gun then it's not really that good to run juggernaut because it means that it's going to take a lot of bullets to actually kill a person however if you run stopping power it kind of compensates for that however if let's say you're using a very high damage weapon then you could consider running Juggernaut because it would just make more sense if you were to run Juggernaut but I would recommend that you actually run Stopping Power if you're using the M4 because the damage on this gun is not that high however one benefit is the recoil is actually pretty low and then my third perk it can be really whatever you want if you want to you can use Marksman or you can use Extreme Conditioning or something like that and if you were to actually run this class it's actually very good you can use it up in close quarters combat because since it has a very high fire rate and very low recoil you can actually use it kind of as a submachine gun as well as if you tap fire and since the recoil is pretty low you can actually use it at longer range and i really think it's kind of a shame because it's a really good weapon that a lot of people don't use just because it's one of the starting weapons and yeah that's going to be my first creative class and my second creative class is going to be everything the same however instead of having a red dot you have a suppressor now this is for a bit more of a sneaky class because in this case you're not going to be running and gunning as much and with the suppressor one good thing about it is you will stay off the radar as well as you can go more sneaking and I really noticed that both of these classes are very good and they really suit two different playstyles. like if you want to run a red dot sight then maybe you can like run around more as well as you can pick off guys at longer range and if you're using a suppressor you can kind of like sneak around try to get behind enemy lines and pick up a couple kills they're really fun to play with and I would highly recommend if you're playing Modern Warfare Remastered to really check out the M4 because a lot of people don't end up doing that and yeah 
that has really been it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please remember to leave a like as well as subscribe to help me get to 250 subscribers and get to 1000 before the end of 2017. And don't forget to click the bell to get a notification every single time I upload a new video. So that's really been it for this video and I hope to see you in the next one.